boys have taken it on and created the issue being the first Caribbean island to play. A huge moment of national pride. Uh, actually, uh, the wonderful uh, bobsleigh team in the, uh, the Winter yeah. Olympics, uh, which was the Cool Runnings team, yeah. made, made famous, immortalized in a Disney film. Immortalized, yeah. And, and there are parallels there. And that was a moment of great national pride. And, and we've got the same now with the rugby. Absolutely, because we always, us Jamaicans always talk, talk about this Jamaican superpower called the Talawa. And I think all Jamaicans will know what that is because we use it. Usain Bolt used the Talawa when he's running, you know, his real record-breaking thing. And the Talawa is what we say in Jamaica, that even though the island is small, we say we're little, but we're Talawa. And Talawa means strong, stoic, gentle, but everything, but it gives you the heart to be able to go into an arena that you're perhaps not used to. But if you believe in who you are, then you can excel. And I think these boys have got that. Did you have Talawa when you entered the Dragon's Den I studio? absolutely did. And I slayed those guys in there. I absolutely they slayed didn't, them. They didn't know what was coming, did they? they? They did not know what the record... And I suppose everybody else that said to me, Levi, don't take the guitar, don't sing, because I thought they were telling me to be someone else. But I thought it's really good to be you. Because it's easier when you're you and not pretend. And I, me with my music is me 100%. So even though my kids and everybody were saying, look, Dad, this is not a show about, you know, about music or X Factor or anything. This is about business and enterprise. I still want it to be me. And I think that's the reason why Peter and Richard invested. And are you still in touch with them? Do you still have a relationship? Well, Peter and I has become, you know, much more than just an investor. We, we have been in business now 16 years since I was under Den together. And it's just a wonderful relationship. I, I brought my shares back from Richard Farley, the other dragon that invested. But I think I'll always want Peter in there. And in business, you will always want somebody that knows more than you. And um, Peter is that person to be able to mention. Any, any, more, uh, any more sort of business ventures for you? Well, I've got the Levi Ruth movie coming out soon. Um, we start production in And that is this the, the story of your life? The story of my life, the story of the source of my grandmother, of my mother, of the, 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 the Jamaican diaspora that came to the UK during the Windrush generation. Yeah. Of course, my parents... Uh, which which Hollywood superstar is going to play you? Well, I, I don't know. I was in, I was in, uh, in the Chain of Hope um, um, event the other day and I saw Idris Elba on stage and I thought to myself, yeah, maybe. Just yeah, maybe. We, might take, <laughs> we might take Elba, definitely. Uh, and, and it's obviously changed your life. Um, how do you handle the fame? It must be a mixed blessing. I think handling the fame is, is an easy one, really, because, like I said, you have to be you. Um, because you, if you're not you, then it becomes all kerfuffle and you, you, know, you don't know where you are. And I'm glad that when I said to Peter after the investment, I did say to him straight after, I said, how shall I play this? Mm -hmm. Because I, I knew that I was coming from being a dreadlocks raster man from Brixton that cooks a bit and sings a bit. And all of a sudden I was being usurped into superstar stardom by winning on Dragon's Den. I said to him, how should I play this? And he says, no, Levi, I, I didn't invest in the sauce. I invested in you. And it wow. just gave me the, the most amazing free, free for all to be able to just be uh, in did you Did you have a bit of cash in the bank when you entered the den? Absolutely broke. Um, I couldn't afford the taxi fare that morning to get to the den um, at all. We had looked through our pennies, me and the kids together, and said, I'm going on the most important journey of my life. And we couldn't even afford the taxi fare. So it was that bad. No, but I, it, I still went in with kids. It doesn't reflect well on the BBC, <laughs> who should have put you in a cab. They should have. They should have. We do that at GB News because uh, we look after our guests. And, uh, and now, I mean, look, I, I, it's, the money's not important, right? You've created a great source that gives uh, so many people pleasure. It's a fabulous product, Rega Rega Sauce. Thanks for my bottle. 